birthday, grade 6 learners. It's TLE time! Once again, this is Teacher Jane, your TLE teacher, and welcome to our class. Our most learning competency for today's lesson under week 1, quarter 3 is post and shares materials on blogs in a safe and responsible manner. Our objectives for today are define blog, identify different types of blog, identify the steps in blogging, post and share materials on blogs in a safe and responsible manner. Today, internet access is always readily available to individuals, companies, and organizations in gathering information. Blogs and audio video conferencing are some of the most common applications available via internet. It is important not only to make the information easily accessible, but also to protect and secure them from damage and lost data and issues. Before we talk about post and sharing, let's find out how much you already know about the topic. Are you ready to learn the learning task one? Get a pen and a piece of paper. Tell the names of each picture. One. If your answer is internet connection, you are correct. Two. Very good. The correct answer is computer. Three. Great. The correct answer is camera. Four. If you answered Google, you are correct. Five. Excellent. Facebook is the correct answer. Hi guys! Welcome back to my vlog! Oh, andiyo na pala kayo! Ako nga pala, inyong teacher vlogger. Alam niyo ba kung anong tawag sa ginagawa ko? Tama! Ako ay nagpa-vlog. Ano nga ba ang vlog, Teacher Jane? Now, let's talk about vlog. What is vlog? When we say vlog, it is also known as web vlog. It is a personal online journal that contains short entries written and updated by, by an individual called bloggers. It is an individualized web communication tool that shows quick and easy publishing of text, photos, voice updates, artwork or links to other websites or other blogs. Nowadays, many people are using blogs to share their thoughts, creativity, and experiences through blogs. Some of the topics or issues found in each type of blog are fashion blog, travel blog, music blog, food blog, and beauty blog. When we say fashion blog, it contains trends in fashion, seasonal clothing, new fashion styles, designs from well-known brands, prices, work to source, and the like. Next one is travel blog. It contains traveling experiences to both local and international places accompanied with pictures including beautiful sceneries, places to eat, hotels and lodging, shops and directions how to go there for the internet users. The third one is music blog. It contains updates in album releases of popular singers or bands. It features music from indie, rock, pop, and songs from local and international artists. The next one is food blog. Contains places to eat, popular menus, or recipes the bloggers love, and how to go to catering, restaurants. There are also critics of food events, prices, and restaurants they recommend for the readers to visit. And last is the so-called beauty blog. 
contains beauty products, how they are used, and what do they do to skin, face, and body. Prices and ingredients of specific products are also found in the blog. There are also do-it-yourself beauty products like face masks. Reviews on well-known brands to customers, makeup looks, and how to do a makeover are interesting topic to read. And if you are aspiring to become a blogger, here are some steps on how to create a blog. According to Blogging Basic 101.com, there are five main steps you need to do in order to start a blog. First, choose a great blog platform. Two, choose a web host for your blog. Three, how to set up a blog on your own domain. Four, design your new blog. And last, useful resources for blogging. In blogging, we also have the do's and don'ts. Blog is one of the websites that is read all over the world by many people from different cultures, socioeconomic backgrounds, professions, and hobbies. It is very important that one who posts and shares blogs should follow the different guidelines to ensure the responsible blogging. First, be truthful in your content. Write only what is based on facts and real life experiences and not a fiction. Two, avoid using words that are offensive to people in general. Three, do not attack personalities. Give respect to people no matter what they do or say. Four, plan the content of your blog carefully. Cite reliable and recognized sources if you edit some parts of the content of another writer or author. Five, give credit where credit is due. Cite those acted as resource person to your blog. Post pictures in your blog that are safe and pleasant to look at by young and old people. Seven, choose exciting, timely, and informative topics. However, do not write just to appeal to the masses. Write about topics that are interesting, well-organized, unique, and entertaining. And last, write respectfully you may use a conversational or friendly tone, but still be professional. Do not post anything that is offensive in nature. If you are a blogger, always remember, do not make any personal attack to anybody. Avoid bashing people you do not like. Instead, use your blog for doing positive activities. This ends our discussion for today's topic. Let's find out how much you learned. I prepared an activity for you to answer. Goodbye!